Hello everyone, this is TJ and a lot more here. And today we have some Subnautica creatures made out of clay. I don't know if you can really see my face or not, but these are all the biomes I made or habitats or whatever you want to call them. This is the safe shallows. This is blood kelp forest, regular kelp forest, jelly shroom cave, and grassy plateaus. It, you probably can't see it. So, uh,. I also want to give a big shout out to Savannah. I don't know if I'm going to butcher this name, but Savannah OJ Keaton. Sorry if I butchered your name in the comments. Just let me know in the comments. But, uh, let's look at some clay models I made. So, first, we got a biter. I made this all by myself, handmade and everything. This is a biter. I likes to bite. Didn't really make his teeth because it would be way too small. So, they're small. They like to eat. They're carnivores. That means they eat other animals and stuff. He would live probably right here. So, I'll put him right there. Next, we got a really pretty one, which is a herbivore. The Jelly Ray. The Jelly Ray... Doesn't really do nothing except wander around and stuff and eat dead stuff. Oh, it's starting to break. Um, it's very thin, and I don't forget these are these are completely made out of clay. People, they would live. I think they would. Oh, I didn't make the bottom yet. Also, I did not make all the creatures in the game. Also, there might be a spoiler alert for this next one. The Sea Emperor. The Sea Emperor. Yes. The biggest one in the whole game. Just letting you know also, these are not the scale. These models are not 100% the scale, but... Yeah, this is a Sea Emperor, so... As you may not know, I'm starting to sweat here. We're gonna put this right here. Um, so... This... This guy right here, well, it's, he has a female voice actor, but this guy right here, um, it releases this enzyme called Enzyme 42, and, uh, you end up getting these, getting this disease called Carar, I think it's called Carar, and, uh, you get, sort of get these green bumps all over you and stuff, and then you put your hand in the Enzyme 42 and it just the bumps are gone. So next up we got this guy has a minor role in the game. The Gasopod. I can't really lean up to here that much, so sorry. Um the Gasopod. He looks pretty cool. These are sorry if I said it's too much, but I made these by myself. He would live right here. So we have another small one, a boomerang fish. He is very small. They just like to wander around and they don't really do that much in the game. And uh, right here, we got a carnivorous one. Oh yeah, and this one, I gotta mention, this one's like a whale. It, it, it's, it eats like a whale, it eats uh, plankton. These little plankton things. Microscopic. So we got the bone shark. He looks kind of bony. He has a lot of bony plates and stuff. Uh, but yeah. He doesn't really do much except for eat you and stuff. Also another guy that likes to eat you. Is this guy. In the stalker. He likes to eat you too. Uh, he likes to eat you. He likes to go bark. He likes to go bark. <laughs> he likes to do that to you in the game. So, we got a good guy here. He's kind of like a poison dart frog, but he's mostly harmless. The rabbit ray. Now, from what I've researched, they're, they're poisonous, just like a poison dart frog. Uh, 
They swim around uh, just like the small fish. That's it. Now we got uh, Tina's favorite from the last video. The peeper. Yes, we got a peeper in this. He's so cute. He doesn't really do anything, though. They do release Enzyme 42, though, into the world. Because the sea emperor is caged. I'm not going to try and spoil too much to you guys, but I probably already, I did already spoil it to you guys. I'm sorry. Spoiled the story. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I almost didn't show you this. The Reginald fish doesn't really do anything. Except for swim around and get eaten by stuff. We got the smallest creature right here. Does absolutely nothing except for eat dead things. The rock grub. I tried to put as much detail in them as possible. But I wanted them to make it as small as possible. Another one that doesn't do much is the oh, sorry. Hoverfish. These guys are pretty cute though. They have a little let's see, yep, they have a little smile on their face. Look cute. No. <laughs> uh we got an the second most dangerous creature in the whole game, the Reaper Leviathan. He likes to get your sea moth, which is like a little submarine, and he shakes it like a dog toy. And your prawn suit. Exosuit, if I. Also known as an exosuit. Oh! Where do I put you? I'll put you right here. Um. We're almost halfway done. We got the eye eye. He likes to watch you, except he doesn't really do anything. He just watches stuff. <laughs> I recommend you to play this game, though, or at least watch videos of people playing it. You got the second most smallest one here. The bleeder. You might have seen him. You might have seen some of these in my last video. As you might have known. This guy likes to suck your blood. Now we have the most, the most dangerous creature in the whole entire game. The sea dragon. He can destroy you one shot with his bite. He can spit fire out of his mouth just like an actual dragon would too. I'll put you uh, right next to the sea upper. We're almost done, guys. This one's actually kind of beautiful, but scary at the same time. The ghost of Ethan. <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to make that noise. So the ghost of Ethan. Transparent. If you, if you were to put this in near uh, near the uh, sun, it would actually looks kind of translucent. I'll give you a closer look. You can kind of see his inside and stuff. It's his eyes. All kinds of stuff. Oh, he's got. He almost got caught in something. Uh, we got another pretty one. That I almost forgot about him. Uh, oh, yeah. This guy is mostly made out of tape. And, and he has clay for his insides. As you may not have known. This guy is a mesmer. He, he's also from the. Last video, he hypnotizes you. Oh, getting sleepy. You are getting sleepy. You are getting sleepy. Bah! Bites off your nose. <laughs> I should put you in a safer spot. Go survive. So, yeah, he he can he can change his fins or whatever these are, the wings, different colors and stuff. But I wanted to make them like that. Look up Subnautica, guys. Just look them up. We only got four more left. This guy is actually kind of special because he blends in with a plant. Crab snake. Sorry if you, sorry with you guys that have a phobia of snakes, but I had to make this. Um. But yeah. He goes in this mushroom thing over here and he just waits there until something pops out. 
Oh yeah, we got the little, really little fish. The whole fish does nothing. Absolutely nothing. And we got my uh, grandma's favorite. She thinks it looks cool. The sand shark. Hey, what's up? I just wanted to do it. Sorry, guys, I just need to do some of this stuff. Joke around and stuff. So he has a fin. It's kind of like a bug, too. Let's put him right here. We're almost done. We only got two more left. We got hoop fish. Well, hoop fish, also known as Carnelius, does nothing except uh, give Savage Savannah some love. Not the other Savannah that gave, I gave a shout out to, but if you see my previous video, you know who Savage Savannah is. And we got one more. Last one. Of our video is the bladder fish. Same thing with the ghost leviathan. I made the transparent parts out of well, out of tape, so it's kind of translucent. Well, I think that's gotta do with this video. I'll do an update uh, on these guys when I make new ones. So, uh, see you then, I guess. Next video. Uh, I don't know what I wanted to talk about, but shout out to Savannah OJ Keon Keaton. Hope I said that right. Bye bye.